Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars and you really struggle with getting this trail arm in front of your body on the downswing, go ahead and grab three balls and let's skip a rock. All right, so let's wind up. All right, you have your, your ball here, you're gonna skip a rock. All right, so just do a couple rehearsals where you're really leveraging the grounds by engaging your butt, keeping your butt deep, and that creates space. And then you skip a rock. All right, so if this is new for you, it's okay to do it slow. The key is making sure you get these to stay on the wall so you create space here. That's where the magic is. All right, if you don't, say you come out of your posture, you go to the top here, when you come out of your posture, you're not going to be able to really do it. All right, you're going to get stuck. All right, if you come out of your posture and early extend, that's where we get this action. All right, if you're a player that gets to the top and has this kind of flurry, or this arm is flailing like this, it's a lot of work to do this. That's why I don't like having a flared flared arm like this because it's just too much work to then reroute it. Some elite players can do it, but I don't recommend that for recreational players. That's why I like this kind of action at the top of the arm. Less than 90 degrees and elbow down, not flaring. All right, but again, there's no cookie cutter. If you can get here and then here, cool. All right, so we want to get our butt deep. Make sure you watch those butt move videos because that's paramount because if we get to the top and we early extend, we're going to get stuck. All right, we're going to just have a little blop like that. All right, so that's why we got to stay in our golf posture. Hip hinge. Boom. Get our butt even deeper. Ah, I pulled it. All right, if you pull it, that means for me, that chest just opened. So if you pull it, you went this way too soon. So you get to the top and you're going to feel like you keep your chest back as you do that. All right, that's key. That's where players go off as they go like this too soon. All right, so the head goes this way and it makes you pull it. So I actually got a question about that. I said, hey, Christina, I'm doing the butt move. I feel like I'm doing it, but my shots are pulling. All right, and that's most likely because you're not engaging your lead side. So as we get to the top here, I'm going to put my arm like this, and we come through, we want to engage that. And that keeps the chest back. We want to keep our head back. If you watch the best players in the world, they keep their head back. It's not down. They're not keeping it down. They're keeping it back, back here. All right, so then they can get that action. So sticking your hand, arm out like this really helps. Okay, so you get to the top here, and this will prevent you from doing this. All right, that's beautiful. So from down the line view, go to the top here, boom. All right, and then you do it with your club, but you, you choke down first. All right, you go to the top here. Matter of fact, stick your arm out, I like that a lot. And then skip a rock. Skip a rock. Skip a rock. Down the line. Arm out here. Skip a rock. Skip a rock. All right, so it's going to really give you the feel of what it feels like to get that arm structure in front. To get that arm structure in front. But it begins with your golf posture. And that's, that's your butt. Forward bend, staying deep to create space.